Welcome, everyone, to the house that Rockney built, Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the home of the Fighting Irish. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on the eighth-ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Notre Dame looking for a strong kick to get this one underway. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. So Stanford's offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Paul. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Keep it on the ground. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. There's nothing better than opening drive, coming out as an away team. Everybody's got all that excitement, all that energy, and being able to run the football and physically exert yourself to start a football game. Now on first and 10 from the 27. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for him. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They go to the ground. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more. And the, and the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. So the Notre Dame Fighting Irish offense comes out first time they've had the ball today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Dropping back, it's Leonard. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. You got an opportunity right now. You got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. 
And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He'll do it himself. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. He wants to throw it. They'll run the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Fourth and short means I'm going for it nowadays. You see it all over college football. Everybody's using analytics and saying, I'm going to take my chances of going for it rather than punting. So great job by the defense, but you better get that next play ready. They'll try it on the ground. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. A first down for the offense. Hand off to the lone back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now the play fake. Quick strike complete. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. Running back searching for a hole. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Back to throw. It's Daniels. Unloads to the wideout. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. He just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And the defense there goes zone coverage, maybe confused the quarterback a little bit, forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. Stanford lines up to punt it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Here come the Irish, back on offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive plays. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points. But they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. 
to the ground. He's got it again. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Back to pass. It's Leonard. Gets it out quickly. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Quarterback adapting. Still on his feet at the 45. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. Notre Dame lines up quickly. From the gun, running back gets to give. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Takes the handoff. It's Love. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage. And he'll be stopped at the 17. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. From the gun, running back on the move. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out of the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Nifty run there, pickup of six out through the 25. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. Stanford gets set to snap it on first down. Out of the gun, they give to the back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. 
Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Got it in the middle. It's Iowa Manor. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He's got him along the sideline. Beautiful footwork for the first down. You know, as a receiver, it's so critical and important to know where the sticks are. He was able to modify his route so he knew as soon as he caught it, he was just going to have enough to keep this drive alive. This Stanford offense moving quickly down the field. Quick pass on the fly motion. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Well, it's a simple play. QB's just looking for his big fellow, the tight end, and he couldn't reel it in. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. They keep attacking through the air. Snags it over the middle. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Lofts one high and deep. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball. But great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. The give on the inside. Shows off another move and gets down to the 33-yard line. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And he's not down, but not before moving the chains. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Coming after him. And as he throws, hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Now this QB already in the first quarter has taken some serious punishment. Got sacked a bunch, got hit a bunch. He's been, he's been targeted a lot. This offense needs to find some answers before we're going to be looking at his backup playing some serious snaps. Right back to the air on second and ten. Pick up a five. They'll need five more on third down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Wants to throw. It's Daniels. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, they can take the three points on the board. 
And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And we're even here in the first. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. He'll pull it on the read. Crosses the 30. He's got away. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. He's going to pass. He's going for it all. Pulls it in on the right. Oh, look out. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Crosses the 35. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Throws to the wideout. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. This offense has a second down play. The give to the back. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws for the tight end. Just missed his man. Gave him just a little too much. Stanford lines up to punt it away.
Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here come the Irish back on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Notre Dame right back to the line. Off the play fake on first down. He's got his man. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Using his legs, it's love. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, that's a really good-looking physical run. I'll tell you, when you think of Notre Dame football, too, you think of all the great coaches they've had, Eric Parsegian, Newt Rockney, and Lou Holtz. Those guys would love what they're seeing right now. Three yards in a cloud of dust, wearing the defense down, running the football when they know you're going to do it. This is Notre Dame football to a T. Beautiful. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Leonard. Unloads to the right. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Irish send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On second down, they'll take to the air. Quickly to the tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes. Finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation and I'm not as predictable on a third down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inch, you just have to go execute, and they do it there. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. This Stanford offense is humming. Set up with another first down. Looking to move it through the air. It's on target and complete. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And 
These wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays up the middle. Now on second down. The give to the back. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinal! And what a nice ball. You can see he sees him running the corner route, lays it out in front, catches the ball, and nice job catching the ball, and then doing what? Getting up field, not running out of bounds, not getting pushed out, not getting tackled. Nice job after the catch, getting vertical, getting to the end zone. On to attempt the try. Right down the boulevard. They took it 64 yards right down the field. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. And now on third down after that last run. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. A strike downfield. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. The give to the tailback. They knock him down right there. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll try the counter. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And the quarterback knew that that counter run play was going to be successful. He did a nice job counting the box before the snap. He knew he had good numbers. He knew he had good angles and blocking. So that is a green lit play from the get go. Hand it off, go make yards. They'll try to run for it. Got room at the 35. And he's running in the open. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense. First and goal from the seven. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. 
Off the play fake on first down to throw. Moving out of the pocket. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Iron. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So an 82-yard drive there, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. He finds... My old coach said, don't never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Offense gets set for second down. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air. It's Daniels. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets it away from his own end zone. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here come the Irish back on offense. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It'll be a draw. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback extends the play. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Hands it off. 
And he knocked him down after a gain of three to the 23. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Fires to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47 yard line. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Looking for a man, it's Daniels. And the quarterback is snowed under. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Finds his big tight end. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Stanford lines up to punt it away. Okay, what a Cover guys getting down to do their job, and they'll stop him at the 15. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. This time it's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. That play was designed to go to the running back. They were hoping they were going to get man coverage. And one-on-one, -on -one, that back is going to win that matchup every single time. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete to the left. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Pulls it in. It's Mitchell. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. He wants to throw. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, it's second down. To the air, it's Leonard. Got his man down the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. 
And he's got it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. An 84-yard drive there. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Back to pass, it's Daniels. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for a man on second down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And they got him for the sack. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Stanford lines up to punt it away. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. One more snap coming before halftime. Leaves it with the back. At midfield, he's got room. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower. And these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Stanford will boot it away to start this second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here come the Irish, back on offense. 
It's working. Why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. That's the way you answer your halftime speech. You gave up a lot of points in that first half. What did the defense do? The first possession. You set the tone in the second half. Get the big stop. Get the big sack. Really nice answer by this defense. The Irish send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Makes a move. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt. Hunt, hunt, David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Last two runs got a big, fat nothing. Let's see if they try to go up top on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. He's out of bounds after a big pickup, but there's a flag on the field, and this might be coming back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. First down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Leonard. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. On second down, he's looking downfield. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open. But it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the middle. On target to the left. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Unloads quickly. 
They get him down after he makes the catch. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. He's moving out of the pocket. He was able to squirt free and pick up a few and avoid a negative play there. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. They're facing a third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. To the air, it's Leonard. Got his man quickly. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. He's going to pass on second down. Fires to the big fella. Makes the tackle right at the 28-yard line. Pick up a five, and they'll move the sticks. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Hard running there. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll take a shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves around to clear up the vision. Keeps it and gets and into the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Irish! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys. But you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And it was finished off by a terrific 26-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. You've got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Looking to pass. It's Daniels. 
using the back as a receiver on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them, but exactly. Get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football, to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator or the offensive line coaches, block those guys. Don't watch them tackle our guys. Oh, he makes a catch. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage. Get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Hand off from the gun. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Throws to the wideout. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Stanford lines up to punt it away. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they wanted in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. On the move, it's Love. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. Yeah, and he looked like he had the opportunity to secure that, obviously, open over the middle of the field, but you know how that works. Middle of the field, more defenders. Am I going to get whacked when I hit this thing? It makes those guys think a little bit, and you see more drops over the middle of the field. Let's it fly. Makes the grab. 
Putting together a real scoring thread here as they pick up the first down at the 36. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Quickly complete. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Trying to show their strength with the run on fourth down. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, no mystery there. Fourth and inches. Hand it off. Keep the drive alive. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Getting some heat. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Back to throw. It's Leonard. Fires to the right. Got his man. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Well, this tight end is so athletic that at times they'll line him up in different parts of the field. That time he was in the slot. Nice job running the route, finding the open space in the defense for the completion. On first and goal, Notre Dame will try to get it in the end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Second and goal coming up. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Irish! And the pummeling has started. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13 play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter up there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. 
the give from the gun. Good surge up front. Give him four out to the 18. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Fires to the wideout. Can't hang on to the ball. He had it right in his chest, and it'll be fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Stanford lines up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He's got great speed. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Here come the Irish back on offense. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Give to the running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. On third and short, the power run here. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. On the run, it's Love. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Man, this is, this is a punch to the gut. When you know you're losing, and you know you got to get a stop, and you know they're going to run the football, and they still run the football down your throat, it's been that kind of day for this defense. Notre Dame ready to go back to work with another first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. This time he's got his man. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And the punishment has been extended. With that latest touchdown pass, might be a good time to mention Brady Quinn threw six touchdown passes against BYU. That record might be in jeopardy. And that's a good day. If you're starting to talk about that already, you know he's spinning it. He's in the zone. He's feeling it, reading the defense, everything coming out on target. He is having himself a day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. to throw it's Daniels missed his receiver there it's incomplete and that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense you got a great game plan all week long you're watching it throughout practice you think you're gonna have a chance to light up the scoreboard but they're just not able to hook up you got to give this defense a ton of credit they've done a great job in coverage they've been breaking on passes they've had their number and that's why they're leading by as much as they are on third and long try to convert through the air Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game, guys. On fourth down, trying to find his man. He lobs one high down the left side. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. On the move at the 30. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag on the field. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. He leaves it with his back. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. And that was a nice second down run and setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. The big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Some misdirection with the counter. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Using his legs, it's Love. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Mitchell. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 
seven. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. Defense holds their ground. Pickup of a yard. It's at the 26. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Leonard. Gets it out fast. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. Now from inside the red zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Ball hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer with respect to defending the pass in this game. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Here comes the field goal unit. Smashes it between the uprights. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete downfield. Running toward the tape. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Stanford. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad.
Lining up for the PAT. Splits the uprights. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it done with a big play, a 76-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here come the Irish, back on offense. Gonna run it. It's Love. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll give it to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and really good third down situational defense. You, you know it's third and long. You know the pass play is coming. Defense was ready. Nice job forcing the fourth down. So how good are you feeling right now if you're on offense in this situation? You want to just play conservative? You want to punt it over and nope. let your defense finish out the game? Nope. Or do you trust your quarterback to go make a play and win the game right now? Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Back to throw. It's Daniels. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. He's looking to throw. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Man, this defense has been flying around. They are everywhere. There's six sack on the day, spreading it around, multiple people coming from every angle. This QB has had a nightmare of a day. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Incomplete, and the defense holds. Couldn't ask for better field position for this offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And a golden opportunity slips away from the defense there. That's one he'd love to have back. He knows he should have come away with the interception there in the red zone. 
They'll line up for a second down play. Smart move to keep it on the ground. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. And oftentimes running backs love drop plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback's selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield. And now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. To the ground with the back. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And big-time play by this defensive line, setting the line of scrimmage, getting the stop, forcing the fourth down. Now, I think I got a pretty good idea, Palmer, that, well, if you're calling plays, if I'm calling plays, well, really, if anybody's calling plays, I'm thinking green light. Yeah, so let's see if the defensive line can do it again. You just saw it on that last play. Can they bow up one more time, make a game-changing and a momentum-changing type play to give the football back to their offense? They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Line getting set on second down. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Using the quick game. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. And they can't make the connection on third down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This is quickly turning into a celebration, Jesse, as they've taken control of this game. And they should feel good about how they've played. They knew they had to come in here, protect home turf. They've gone out. They've run it well. They've thrown it well, David. Really, so much that this coaching staff can be happy about. Yeah, and now it's about stat padding, right? Like, you could just put up more numbers. You know this game's pretty good. Don't turn it over. Don't make a mistake. But this game is well in hand. The give out of the gun. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. To the ground to try to move the chains. Tackle was made after the first down. 